Power is the rate of doing work. It's an amount of work done divided by the time it takes to do that amount of work. The unit is energy, unit of energy divided by unit of time, so it's joules per second, and that is called the what. If we do an amount of work, as we did before, through a distance s, then graphic, we can graph this, and um, we can do it at a specific rate. Here we can see that with time, an increasing amount of work is being done. And at the end of the amount of work, we did a specific amount of work, and it took a specific amount of time. So the particular area under the graph equals the work done. And if we divide that by the time it took to do that work, we get the power. Um, quite easily, what we can do now is repeat the process, but at a faster rate. So let's apply that force at a faster rate. We did exactly the same amount of work, but because we did it in less time, then we have more power. The power is the amount of work done or energy transferred per unit time. So in summary, Power is a measure of the rate of doing work, or the rate of energy transfer. Power is therefore equal to the energy transferred per time, or power is equal to the work done per unit time. Now, we can also express work done as force times displacement in the direction of the force. Um, and so work done over time will be force times displacement divided by time. However, displacement divided by time is known as a physical quantity in physics called velocity. And so the power can also be found by the force times the velocity. So for example, if the engine of a car applies a force of, let's say, 1,000 newtons to cause the car to move at a velocity of 1 meter per second, then the power the engine develops is 1,000 times 1 Therefore, it's equal to 1,000 watts.